Well, you know, one of the most important parts of being a successful manager is understanding uh, psychology and cultural clues. I mean, if you want to be a superstar leader in any field, you simply must be able to develop people uh, to reach their utmost potential. Um, it's good for them, it's great for the organization, uh, it's just good overall. Our next guest has, I think, our, a rare proficiency, I can say, in this art and science. He's Kelly Graves long-time Quality Digest contributor and first-time author of the new book, The Management and Employee Development Review. You can see it right there, uh, which I proudly reviewed and highly recommend. So, Kelly Graves, welcome back to Quality Digest World Headquarters. Mike, it's great to be back. <laughs> it's been too long. How are you? <laughs> it has been a great. while. Yeah, we, we had you, God, it's been almost a year, I think, since you were, you were here on the show. You know, writing the book, took it out of me. I think I, we talked about that I, before. It is right and, here, in case people um, don't, don't see I, it. I, took 20 years of, <laughs> of experience and put it into that book. So yeah. um, the articles have kind of taken a back seat to that, but I'm gonna get back into the article That's business great. as well. That's great. Well, you know, it, it's interesting, because I, I read your book during, during the, the, the review process before mm -hmm. it was published, uh, and, and I really got into this. And I've known about the, the, the management and employee development review, you talked about it in, in Quality Digest right. articles a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it's always very interesting to me that you start with management. Mm -hmm. It's the management employee development review, both, but right. management comes first. Right. So it really is a 360 degree review process, isn't it, that goes into this? It really is. You know, you've got to start with the manager simply because um, when managers and employees get together and there are problems within that relationship, that mm -hmm. dynamic with the employee, the manager has to take 30 to 40 percent of the responsibility for right. that because it's their job to teach to coach, to counsel, mm -hmm. and so many managers, even though they've been to classes, um, they've been to workshops, they still don't know really how to apply it. And that's what I tried to do in this book, is to take examples to where people can say, okay, this is where I have to learn how to apply it. Mm -hmm. And bringing business and psychology together to where the manager understands the psychology behind the people that they're managing. Mm -hmm. And that's the real key. People understand their business. They understand the nuts and bolts of their business. They even understand you know, the logistics of what needs to happen next. What they don't truly understand and what I run into daily is how do I get this group of people to do what we as a group need them to do. Well, that's, but that's not, I mean, that, that wasn't for a long time the way management was. I mean, <laughs> a lot of people were brought up, I mean, a lot of managers are, are people that are later in their career, mm -hmm. and they may have been brought up in a situation where it's like, well, I got beat on. I mean, right. I didn't have any input. I was mm -hmm. told what to do, and I did it. Right. I did it well, and I moved up the ranks, and now, darn it, people are gonna <laughs> listen to me tell them, tell them what to do now. So that's the way people know how to do it. So it, it, it does require starting with the manager to change his or her own perspective, right? It really does. Um, one has to take their, their I guess, um, their personality out of it and put on their management hat. There's even times where I have to do that, where mm -hmm. I'll be in, in front of a group and people are, are saying certain things and it's stabbing me and I have to remember, okay, they're not stabbing me, I need to put on my consultant hat here and make sure that I'm responding in a psychological manner, not as a Kelly Graves response, but as the consultant response. When you're saying stab, I mean you're getting triggered. You're, you're, yeah, you're, they're, they're, hitting my, they're hitting my nerves. Yeah, yeah, and, and so you have to, but you're trained, so you know how to do this, right. but a manager who maybe isn't trained mm -hmm. and will get that, you know, kind of whether it's passive aggressive or an outright, right. you know, mutiny <laughs> in the company, whatever it may be, right. will respond generally aggressively to that, but that, that only perpetuates that cycle, right? It does, it perpetuates it, and that's why the book starts with why managers use fear and anger to manage and how ineffective that is, and really not ineffective, but how disastrous yeah. that is, and how long-standing um, that pain that the employees feel sticks around. Yeah, and it's not, I mean, it doesn't really do anybody any good. I mean, no. you know, uh, we, don't, we don't check our, our, our personality at the door when we come to work. We are, are, are all people right. wherever we are. So, I mean, when you're wounded as a manager or an employee, you know, not only is it gonna hurt you, but it's gonna hurt the organization because you're not gonna get the best person. I mean, the best person who's invested in themselves and is confident and happy is gonna do the best work. I mean, it seems right. pretty simple. Mm -hmm. But I mean, still, again, there's this idea that, you know, you, be, you said you beat a man in the morning and he'll, he'll, do, he'll do better work all day long, <laughs> right. right? Right. That philosophy's out there. It really is still out there in a lot of places. 
Yeah, it is. And like you said before, it has it has come from the 20s and the 30s and the 50s where I'm the boss, do what I do what I say. But now we're in an information age where um, even people on the shop floor that are running machines are running computerized machines right. and they're highly technical. Think about, you know, an average auto mechanic. He or she is a highly skilled technician. Yeah. And it takes a lot of experience to get that. And so we really do need to collaborate with um, the employee. And mm -hmm. that's where managers need to learn a new style of management. And it's not enough to read a book. It's not enough to go to a workshop. It's not enough to go to a conference. It's something that you really have to be coached and taught mm -hmm. um, side by side. In fact, uh, one of my clients said, uh, said this, this quote, and I told him I was going to use it in the book. I don't know if I put it in there, if it was edited out or not, but I keep reading my book. I keep reading the books, yeah. but my employees don't change. Right, right. <laughs> and and I thought, God, that is just so genius because there are so many people that they do. They read the books, they go to the workshops, yeah. but if their behavior and the actions don't change, then the organization doesn't change. Doesn't change right. And that's the hardest thing for a manager to do is to change his or her behaviors and actions and like you said earlier we don't um, uh, we don't park our uh, personality at the door you know I mean we are who we are right. at work and but we do need to put on our work hat when we come to work and we start need to start thinking smarter and this is what I hope the book introduces is there's business and there's psychology and the basis of business is is not your research and development it's not your buildings it's it's not your uh, your cash flow, it's really your people. Mm -hmm. And when you come to managing and leading people, you really do need to understand what is going to motivate them. And I'm glad you said that because I, I wanted to get to that because your next column, a little sneak preview here for you right. folks out there, uh, your next column is, is going to be talking about employee motivation. And you say something frequently, which I think is really valuable, is I can't motivate you, you can't motivate me. I mean, right. we're all free agents in this world. Mm -hmm. But again, there's this idea that managers are supposed to motivate their employees. You're supposed to be the one responsible for making sure that person does their job. So. Yeah. You know, in your column to come, you're talking about the various systems people use, cash rewards or trips or parties or whatever, mm -hmm. and how none of those things really work. Um, so what's a, maybe what's a better way of motivating employees or, or, or helping people learn to motivate themselves? It's really the, the, most, the, the most simple way is to ask the employee. We need to have more conversations with the employee. What motivates you? And what I talk about in the book is intrinsic motivation. And intrinsic motivation is motivation that the person does it because they want to do it, because of pride and because of workmanship and craftsmanship. Um, and that's what the manager needs to tap into. It's not about pizza par parties and it's not about you know, bowling alley things, those, those don't really motivate people. In fact, even money doesn't motivate. It motivates for a very short time and then all you are is a poor company with a person that's getting paid more that expects more, you know, next time that you want them to do more work. So really, the, the most simple way of doing it is to ask the employee, you know what, we're in this together. It's really a partnership. The manager and employee relationship is a partnership. What what do you need to motivate you? What is going to help you and I work better together to get this project done or to get this task done? And have a conversation. And at first, the employee might not even have an answer for you because they've never been posed with that. And especially by a manager who they're used to just taking orders from. Right. And so have that dialogue and, and explore it with the employee. When you do that, you start developing a bond and a real teamwork. We have a lot of groups that work together. They call themselves teams, but they're not teams. They're just groups that happen to work in the same vicinity. Um, but when you start having a dialogue, what that prompts is it really prompts a true teamwork. It's you and I working together. And it's, and it's a review, so people, employees have this idea of a review, which mm -hmm. we've all gone through for many years in our right. career, where it's like, you know, you march into the office and the boss tells you, here's what you did, <laughs> here's what right. you did good, maybe, here's what mm -hmm. you did bad, next year we'll see and we'll do it again. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's worthless. I mean, actually many companies are not even doing reviews anymore because right. of the lack of value. But this is, as you say, and it's a perfect word, it's a conversation and it's an ongoing conversation, right? right. It doesn't just happen once a year, it could happen every day, it could happen once a month. I mean, it doesn't really matter right. what the frequency necessarily is, but it's ongoing, that's really the key point, I think. 
It really is the key point. And evaluations were, um, research has showed that they actually make the relationship worse. Mm -hmm. The manager doesn't know how or doesn't like to do them. The employee, it's usually a one-sided conversation. It takes time. And again, we have to go back to it's a review. Um, when we look at the word evaluation, it means to judge. Mm -hmm. And so if you judge me, I have to defend. And so we're off to the wrong foot right off the bat. And so what we need to do is engage in a conversation. What do we need to do? You know, if I'm your manager, what do I need to do to actually help you do your job better? Mm -hmm. You know, are there uh, problems in the way that I need to remove? Do you need more coaching? Do you need more training? What is it that you need? Mm -hmm. And what is it that you need from me? And, and, you know, so that's really how we create the teamwork. Yeah. 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 It's great stuff. I mean, it's a great book. It's right here again. It's the, uh, the Management and Employee Development Review right there. CRC Press, I believe, is, is where yes. it's available everywhere. Amazon and CRC, Pre CRC Press as well. I'm glad you're back writing columns for us as well. Thank you. It's well, so nice to be back. It's great. We're going to have Kelly back on the show uh, going forward. Kelly was a, a regular guest on the show uh, last year, and we're going to have him back now that he's done with the book and it's out. So go check it out. It's a really good book. All right.